Now for this next one, let's call this area writing instead of what I've called it, because we're going to open up Word and Excel and move those documents to specific areas of the monitor. So let's have a new profile, switch profile, and just call it writing. Now we won't worry about the icon yet. So this is our profile. Now it says next profile. It must say writing. Let's check if we have a new profile. No, we don't. So let's make a new profile. Now notice when I make a new profile and I go to this, it's going to be like the other one where it doesn't have a home button. But not to worry, let's just click away from this. Let's double click the new profile, call it writing. And now, if I click on the writing, I can select writing. And that's where I'm going. So when I click on the icon here, once again, I've got this horrible blank page. But no worries, I can simply delete this. Climb up here, go back to where it said WW, and I want to copy this return. So let's right click, copy, then go back to my writing and paste. And now let's see if it works. Return, home, writing, return, writing, return. So that's good, that works. So let's go into writing, and I'm going to simply open up two documents and for this I'm going to need a multi-action. So here's my multi-action and we'll call it Word and Excel. Okay, let's keep that in the middle. There we go. So let's have a look at our document. Remember, so what we need to do is we need to open Office, give it a three second delay and hit return. Second, then we're going to do the moving. But let's first just open them. Let's just worry about opening them and giving them that choice. So let's go back here. Open. And the document I want to open is Word. Simply scroll down to here and that's Word. Word is the first thing to be opened and I'm going to give it a three second delay. So change this to three seconds because sometimes it's quite slow at opening. Put the number three here so I know. And then I want it to open, but I think all I have to do is press enter. So let's do the hotkey and enter. That's it. Let's have a one second delay for the sake of it. And I won't put in moving it yet. We'll do that later. Let's open up another, let's open up Excel. Click here, scroll down, Excel, there she is. And once again, I believe I'm just pressing enter. Two second delay and press return. So let's give that two second delay. And then click hotkey return. Oops, make sure you click here, return. There it is. So now if I go back, I'm just gonna click in the open space here. If I click this button, let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, now let's see what happens if I move them to a different area. Okay. Uh, let's move that one here, make it like that. Okay, let's click them off and don't save. Once again, let's click the Word document. Enter, so it opens the document and it opens the document. But I want them to be in front of me side by side always. That's what I work on. So. What we need to do is put them where we want them to be. This is the trick. We need to put them where exactly where we want them to be. First and foremost. And how do I move this? 
So I want them to be about that height with room at the top so I can use zoom when I'm talking to people. And I'm quite happy like that. Now what we need to do, enter our actions. We need to include another action called Windows Mover. And that is, let's close that. It's this one, Windows Mover. Now you probably won't have this. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to go back and click on this keyboard. And when you click on this keyboard, up will pop this and you can discover things. You get plugins, everything like that. We want a plugin and we want mover. So type in mover and there it is. You can see I've already installed it. So that's what you want. And here it is here, Windows Mover. So what we want to do is simply add that this document should move to this place always. So I'm going to, I opened, press return. So now it opened the dock and I had a one second delay. I think I'll put it after the delay of one second. Put mover there. And now this is the where the magic happens. If you scroll down, it says specific application or current window. I'm going to go specific application. And that application is Word or WinWord. Here it is. If you can't see it, just click Reload Apps. Now, I want it to have the current window coordinates. So let's click on that. And you can see it's minus 2000, which means it's on the monitor, 100. Also, it says here, no resize. I want it to resize. I want it to be perfectly that size. And that's all you have to do. And then we just need to do that again for our Excel file. So let's give that another second delay, by the way. So delay. So once it's moved, I want it to have another second before I open up office just one second it's not long and i think after the return let's move this one as well so mover so movers here this time the application is going to be excel here it is um get the current coordinates and resize thank you very much and that is all i had to do and just to show you that it works, I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this to a different size and a different place. So a different size, and I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to move that over here to a different size and place, and then I'm going to close them. And now watch what happens when I click my Word Excel. It opens and then moves. It opens and then moves. Perfect. So that's how you can move anything that you want to open in a particular place. Next, let's look at adding music, a bit of light relief.